Today is Tuesday, 27th. And I think it's the 27th, it's Tuesday, I know that. Anyway, when I was doing the video yesterday of me riding around on my John Deere uh, zero turn, I noticed the right front uh, wheel assembly was wobbly. And I knew what the problem was as soon as I saw the video. Can't tell it from the driver's seat. Anyway, I had to come up today and seal the exterior flanges on my exhaust fan. I got a hell of a leak in this area, and but I never see it when I'm here unless it's just pouring down rain. I haven't been here when it's pouring down rain. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. <clears throat> where this blue tape was down here next to the floor, I had a seep, uh, put more dicor on the floor. Uh, same thing over here, or where that blue tape is down on the floor. Now the seat, dicord the hell out of it. So, on my front right wheel, on my zero turn, pulled the axle bolt out. It's just a bolt. Five-eighths is what it is. And, here's what's left of the bearings. Left and right the inner axle tube extremely worn garbage so I could probably order some aftermarket Chinese bearings and using bearing lock uh, repair that wheel assembly except for this tube being trash could probably find one if it looked hard enough or order two complete wheel assemblies off of Amazon. I went with the ore. They'll be here in a few days. Uh, well under $200. Uh, I got to look at, I think it was $128 for two. The left front uh, wheel bearings are still good. So I have a spare. And uh, I still have to go to the farm and get my uh, uh, anti-leak compound hell I forgot the damn name of the stuff now and uh, tire jacked and put that in the rears and I'll put it in the fronts when the new ones come in this is a prep preventative measure for future flats and when you buy a 400 hour mower you hate to see bearings already going bad but it is what it is uh, I need a 3 8 drive uh, quarter inch Allen head uh, socket to get my fill plugs off of my drive motors. Again, bought a set of those off Amazon. They'll be here in, probably tomorrow. Um, even buying tools, I'm way ahead on cost repair if I had to job this out. And tools don't go bad. I get done with this job, I'll need them on something else. As soon as I get caught up a little bit, I'm going to start tearing into that old engine and see what I find. Uh, the starter's probably still good. Uh, there's probably good parts on there. And if I keep them and put them away, I'll lose the damn things. I got too many locations that I keep stuff. And if I keep the entire engine block assembly assembled, it's just something's going to gather dust. Uh, I think the starter is $39 on Amazon and do I want to worry with storing stuff for a $39 part probably not am I going to need any kind of internals off this engine no it's 18 and a half horsepower my new one's 19 maybe the dipstick will cross over I've never lost a dipstick in my life so sometimes you just got to pull the trigger and get rid of stuff uh, if I was a small engine shop, yeah, I'd probably keep it, but I'm not. You know, I'm just an individual that's thrifty, and I don't like paying for stuff I can do myself. Like the heavy maintenance cycle on my pickup, that was more than I wanted to take on. Uh, getting on the ground and getting back up wrecks my back. Uh, I went home last night after doing the engine swap on the zero turn, and I had a bulging muscle 
on uh, the lower portion of my back on the right side, just above my butt cheek, where I pulled a damn muscle, just getting up off the ground two dozen times doing that engine swap. So I have to be careful what I do so I don't wreck my body. It is what it is. You know, it's part of getting old. I can still do a hell of a lot of stuff, and I do. I just have to be real careful. Um, so yeah, uh, got my little hitch pin for my draw bar for my chipper. Uh, $6.42 with tax, tractor supply. Could have ordered from Amazon, but I didn't feel like waiting a few days. Oh, here it is. That's it right there. This stupid little hitch pin. A half inch is what needed. Um, yeah, I kind of I was lazy today. I'll admit it. I got pretty tired yesterday doing that engine swap, and uh, left my AC on in the building. Uh, when I come in up here, it was 102 degrees at four o'clock, and my building was 78 before I started opening doors, uh, going in and out of the building. I'm telling you that uh, spray foam insulation and little two-ton mini split on a 1200 square foot building is the bomb that is the way to go uh, same thing at the house uh, 102 degrees at the house i got a five ton unit over there and uh keeping it at about 73 degrees and the ac cycling on and off just like it's supposed to uh, and we spray foam the house too i'm glad i did Electric bills just are outrageous now. They just keep on jacking up the energy costs. They are positively obscene. But I have to go to the grocery store. It's uh, fresh peach and plum season. I got some the other day. I should have bought a whole bunch more because I ate them all. I'll go back and get more today. That's all for this one. Thank you.